we're going to do a deep dive into the restaurants on board the Norwegian Bliss. Let's do it. You know we like that food. <laughs> Absolutely. We're those food guys. So uh, so what I've done is I've brought up, for those of you watching with us, uh, the NCL website uh, to kind of give what their brief synopsis of, of the restaurants are. But I've also pulled up menu examples that I've either found on the internet by past cruisers or that's provided by NCL themselves. So first up is the Garden Cafe, which would also be known as the buffet. The buffet. Yes. And you and I watched a video while you were here visiting, if I remember correctly, yeah. of the buffet. Um, <laughs> that is a huge spot. That's a huge space, lots of room. So, I mean, like, and, and, uh, I mean, uh, they got same like six, six soft serve stations. Yeah, like it's the same stuff, uh, kind of. And then it, it, but as you go in the front, it's all the same. And then uh, towards the middle, and then there's like a whole nother section in the back. So yeah, it's, it, there's a lot to experience in that buffet for sure. Yeah. So uh, their NCL, uh, Norwegian Cruise Line's description is whatever you're craving, chances are you will find it in the Garden Cafe. This complimentary indoor buffet restaurant serves up breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And over at the cruisecritic.com, I, I looked into uh, what they have to say about the Garden Cafe and, and thought I would share their thoughts because I think it helps to give us some more insight. Yeah. So breakfast. This is quoting from their site. Breakfast is the usual AM fare with eggs, including omelet stations, bacon and sausage, French toast and pancakes, cereal, yogurt, oatmeal and fruit, uh, juice station offering apple juice, orange juice, cranberry cocktail juice, water, tea, coffee are also available. Lunch serves up a wide selection of choices, including burgers and hot dogs, turkey and veggie burgers are available upon request, mm. pasta and pizza, hot favorites, fish sticks, lasagna, grilled veggies, etc., Indian and Italian specialties, and, oh, a wow. and a salad bar. Dinner is similar to lunch with a carving station added in. Baby back pork ribs, roasted turkey, beef brisket. On any given night, you might find barbecue braised short ribs, two bean chili con carne, vegetable burritos, country style turkey scallopini, and a grilled vegetable medley. <laughs> Side, sides could include steamed vegetables, fingerling wedges with Parmesan cheese, and fried or steamed rice. Yikes. Desserts at lunch and dinner include a selection of some eight hard ice cream and sherbet flavors, including sugar-free choices, cookies, chocolate chip, yum, pastries, and cakes. There are also do-it-yourself soft ice cream machines with chocolate, vanilla, and swirl. So that's the, uh, yeah. Yikes. There's, yeah. there's a whole lot going on at the buffet. Um, I am, of course, absolutely interested to check it out for, for one of the meals while we're there. Uh, I probably don't see eating there too much just no. because I personally... There's too many mean, options on this, <laughs> on this boat. Well, there's so many options, but also I'll be staying in the Haven. Oh, yeah, so, so you've got your own. Yes, I will, I will have uh, my own private restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so some things Tyrus is calling out who has been on this cruise, on this ship, not on this cruise, but on this ship. Uh, Tyrus said, I was still a vegetarian the time I was there, so I'm excited to be an omnivore this time around. Yeah. The buffets are huge. You really need to walk around to see what they have before you choose. <laughs> and he said, there is an actual 24-hour fish and chips place on the ship. Uh, and uh, a friend of all of ours that we know, Angry or Justin, said it was one of the best fish places he's been to. You know what? I, I like, I definitely might need to hit that spot up because I do like fish and chips. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely would. I don't know about, I don't need, I don't need to eat them later, but uh, definitely, the, the, you know, that sounds like a, a lunch spot for sure. Yes. And yes, I am rolling baller status on this cruise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I, I figured, you know, you only turn 40 once. And, That's very true. That's uh, very true. I want to live it up. So I'm getting a spa suite. Um, it is not cheap. It is extremely expensive. Um, but, you know. It's, like a, it. it's kind of a second honeymoon, too, for you guys, isn't it? Sure. Let's go with that. Why not? <laughs> So next up is room service. Uh, there's not a whole lot here to tell. Uh, room service is available 24 hours a day. Simply pick up the phone, order breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a late night munchie. Uh, okay. There is a room service fee of $9.95 that will be added to your check. Uh, okay. Unless it is continental breakfast, which is until 10 a.m. Oh. Or, or, or if you are a sweet or if you're a sweet guest, then you yeah. don't have to pay the fee. Right. A 20% gratuity and beverage service charge will be added to your check as well. Yikes. So uh, if you really want to eat in your room and you're good with spending that kind of money, you should just get a Haven suite. Either that or you just go you go and uh, you pick it up and bring it back to your room if you need to, right? Yeah, I guess you I, – I don't know if they let you – I mean, oh, maybe, maybe Tyrus can speak to that. I don't know if they let you gather up food and just take it out. Um, maybe. I don't maybe. know. We'll see. Next up, we've got uh, the three main dining rooms. So you've got Savor, Taste, and the Manhattan Room. Uh, I'll just read their brief descriptions. Uh, Savor, balancing classic favorites and unique new dishes. Dining at Savor is a must, offering guests an extensive menu of deliciously flesh, fresh flavors. Whoa, whoa flesh, hold up. <laughs> along with chic and modern decor. Visiting this main dining room is always in style. All right. Taste. Serving a wide variety of cuisine, Taste offers a stylish and contemporary atmosphere, plus with a menu that changes daily and carefully selected wine recommendations. You'll experience a different culinary adventure with every visit. Hmm. And lastly, the Manhattan Room. One of three main dining rooms, the Manhattan Room is where guests can enjoy specially curated modern and classic dishes with the freshest ingredients. My understanding, uh, and I guess let me show off the three images for the, these restaurants. This is Savor, okay. uh, and this is Taste. Okay. And this is the Manhattan Room. Yo, I'm, uh, that's that. Oh, I, I might have to bring a suit on this trip. Uh, yeah, I think there is no requirement that you have to dress up. Hey, but but I, if I'm going to eat in that Manhattan Room, that looks like a classy joint. I might have to suit up. And Tyrus says you can take food on the ship wherever you want. And for a small charge, you can have a pizza delivered almost anywhere on the ship. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, sir. Uh, I I did pull up a couple of example menus for the different dining rooms. Uh, they generally, my understanding, will have uh, every every meal. They'll have a different menu, but all three of those main dining rooms. Mm -hmm will have the same menu. Okay. So whether you're eating in the Manhattan Room or Taste, you if you're in Manhattan Room and I'm in Taste on Tuesday, we're going to have the same options. So, but Wednesday will have different options than Tuesday did. Are they a lunch and are they just dinner? Are these spots just dinner or are they like lunch and dinner? Uh, I believe these are dinner spots and Tyrus can hopefully confirm that for us. But my understanding was that these are dinner spots. And uh, so a sample menu, and I'll, I'll go ahead and read that you might see in one of the dining rooms, uh, the main yeah. dining rooms, appetizers, French onion soup, okay. Stil Stilton cheese soup, Swiss barley soup, a classic Caesar salad. Oh yeah. Roasted vegetable salad with goat cheese. Hmm. Grilled chicken salad. Okay. A nice bruschetta. All right. All right. Proscuto and melon. Oh. Seared Atlantic scallops. Yo. Smoked mozzarella ravioli. And beef sliders. So those are all appetizers. Yikes. Those sound delicious. Now you've got your classic entrees. Okay. And, and I believe the classic entrees are are at every meal. So the classic entrees are going to be there every day of the cruise okay. where there's the today's featured items, which are only on that day. Okay. So the classic entrees, breaded flounder filet, fettuccine Alfredo, okay. herb rubbed rotisserie chicken. 
Yeah. Carved whole roasted pork loin. Grilled New York strip steak. Three cheese baked ziti. Yo. On this menu uh, that I, I hey, found. damn just showed up. <laughs> showed up at the right time to talk about food. Yes, yeah, sir. I show up late and all I get is the infomercial for the cruise. <laughs> Sorry, man. This is why you can't be late, bro. <laughs> and Tyrus, uh, Tyrus did call out that uh, those restaurants are brunch, lunch, and dinner. Oh, okay. Depend. Oh, pending on the day. Okay. Okay. Uh, he also <laughs> said that uh, if in a specialty restaurant, you can have your unfinished food delivered to your room. Oh, nice. That's kind of interesting. You know what? Though I'm thinking, you know, this might be one of those things, especially for like the today specials or whatever. I might have to swing by. I might just have to swing by and see what they got as their that special of that day. Well, and the thing you've got to remember is you can go and eat as much as you want. No, I'm just saying, like, I, like there might be something. There might be something that you know, that day that I'm not really feeling. So I can definitely hit up a different spot, which I plan on yeah. doing anyways. But, you know, if it's something that day, I'm like, yo, I'm like, I need to get this. <laughs> so on this menu that I, I found, the today's featured entrees were a broiled rainbow trout. I'm sorry, broiled rainbow trout. Okay. Grilled lemon pepper chicken. Parmesan crusted turkey escalope. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. <laughs> Veal bratwurst. Ooh. Carved whole roasted beef sirloin. Okay. Spinach and ricotta stuffed pepper. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And then they had some wine recommendations that you could buy by the bottle. I'm not a wine um, guy anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Uh so I figure I'll do one more menu from one of these dining rooms. Do you want number two, three, or four? Um, what? Show me the pictures of the places. Well, no, it's for savor, taste, and Manhattan room. Oh, oh, um, give me, you know, give me the Manhattan room. Just give me a number, two, three, or four. Oh, uh, three. All right, that's what I was hoping you would say. <laughs> All right, so number three, here we go. So we already talked about uh, the appetizers, but some of them did change. So we have the French onion soup, cream of potato soup, the the uh, hearty beef broth soup. Uh, we already talked about a classic Caesar. They've got a tomato salad, a shredded cabbage mm -hmm. salad, uh, country style pate, asparagus and artichoke risotto, uh, Sticky honey buffalo hot wings. So those are some of there. There were some other appetizers, but they were repeats. Yeah. Uh, on this one for the classic entrees, they had the breaded flounder fillet, the fettuccine alfredo, uh, herb rotisserie chicken, carve whole roasted pork loin, grilled New York steak, and three cheese baked ziti. So all the same there. Yeah. Now on the today's featured entrees. Here's where we see the changes. Pan-seared Alaskan Polak. Cajun spiced mahi-mahi. What? Turkey scallopini with gnocchi. Balti lamb tiki, which is an Indian dish. Okay. Sautéed beef tips, stroganoff. And Idaho pot pie. Idaho potato pot pie. Yo. Yeah. So, obviously, even in the 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 main dining rooms that are included there's still a ton of really good food yeah and there is nothing again there is nothing saying that you can't go from one of those dining rooms to another to another and have three full meals uh, yeah wow wow yeah <laughs> we've we've got two more restaurants to cover on this uh page uh before we wrap up the show tonight. And one of them we're not going to really spend much time on because that's the Haven restaurant. Um, because, you know. Private not, access, baby. Yeah. You do have to be staying in a Haven suite to have access to the Haven restaurant. Is that um, open? Is that open air? Uh, so the Haven restaurant, it's actually two part. There's the indoor part and there's the outdoor part. Oh, man. That could be real pretty at night. If it's not too <laughs> cold, of course. 
Well, the nice thing about uh, the outside is they have all of these windows here that kind of break the wind. Uh, so it's not too bad. And then they also have, they bring out, you know, the heaters, the heaters. at night. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think that that would be real pretty. Yeah. Uh, so the quick brief synopsis of the Haven, private access for guests of the Haven. Enjoy a private fine dining experience for guests of the Haven, serving unique signature dishes and wine offerings from our impressive selection. And that is included if you have a Haven room. Haven room and, yeah. and the food, uh, I've seen some of the sample menus for the Haven restaurant, and it's it's fine dining every meal. And they do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. So I'm I'm absolutely looking forward to enjoying that for multiple meals. Absolutely. Uh, the last one we're going to look at tonight is the local bar and grill. All right. The local offers classic pub fare in a relaxed atmosphere with popular dishes like the Reuben sandwich and fish and chips. The local has all of your favorite comfort foods. So try one of our beers or cocktails on tap and catch a game with us. Oh, yeah. I mean, and as, by this time, it'll be like NBA playoffs for sure. Baseball yeah. season will be in, in swing and, and, uh, Hockey will be nearing the end, so yeah. And and the important thing to uh, you know kind of call out here is that this is a twenty four hour establishment. Oh, 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 wow! And so I've actually pulled up their their menu, which you know has the cover: cocktails on tap, drinks, white wines and rosé, red wine, starters, favorites, desserts. All right, let's take a look. We've got cocktails on tap, passion fruit lime cooler. Okay. Uh, so remember with your drink package, if it's less than $15, then that's included to go. Okay. So passion fruit lime cooler is 11 bucks. You're good. The glacier blue. That sounds like an AMF. Jameson vodka, Brahms triple set. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> uh, no, that's, that is, that Just is with, an AMF with passion fruit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to have to drink me some glacier blues. We have their uh, signature martini, which you can add a tiki cup for only six dollars additional. That's a mai tai. Ah, yes, a signature mai tai. What did I? <laughs> said martini. Nice. You said oh. martini. Like, yeah, mm, I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell it. But okay. <laughs> Next up is the matador, which oh, is okay. uh, bourbon, ginger, elderflower syrup, and orange bitters. You know what? I don't normally drink like this, but I might just have to try. I might just have to, you know. Every day, just have, maybe have a couple, try a couple of them. <laughs> I plan to be perpetually buzzed the entire trip. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. I yeah. will be drinking from the moment I wake up until I put on my makeup. <laughs> uh, I'll say a little prayer for you. Please do. I'm going to need it. Yeah. Uh, you've got uh, Mudslide, which is a classic, the Moscow yeah. Mule, uh, Perfect Margarita. Uh, Buena Vista style uh, Irish, Irish coffee. coffee. I won't be having yummy. that because I'm not really a coffee drinker. So, yeah, uh, the side I've never car. had a sidecar before. Yeah, so I, I, I plan to try one. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, next up, you've got their drink. So, you've got draft beers, hard seltzers. Do we know what their draft beers are? Uh, I do not. I they rotate, so I don't okay. think they're going oh. to be set it's until. It. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I'll, I'll, you know, as long as they have, as long as they have uh, some. Oh, they have. It looks like they have Blue Moon at least. In the yeah, in the bottle. So yeah, we're, I mean, I'll be fine. <laughs> you've got your sodas and sparkling waters, uh, San Pellegrino and Aquapana, energy drinks. Okay. Some wines, which we're not going to go into because you're not really into them. And yeah. I'm really only a wine drinker with like a nice dinner. Yeah, um, I'm not a middle of the day wine. Drinker. I could see, I could see you, you know, with one of those with one of those uh, fancy meals, you, you grabbing a glass of wine. Oh, That'd absolutely, be, absolutely. Uh, red wines they've got listed, and now we get to the food starters, soup of the day, <laughs> whatever it is. I'll have that. <laughs> Beef chili. I like that idea. Cobb salad. Caesar uh, salad. There you go. Half dozen chicken wings. Buffalo smoked barbecue. Korean 
sweet Korean chili barbecue. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Spinach uh, and artichoke dip. Oh, pretzel bites. Beer mm-hmm. cheese fondue. You know, I would like <laughs> if you've watched anything we've done in the past, we have we've had those pretzels. Yep. Grilled sausage sliders. Interesting. I'll give that a try. Oh, got a loaded nachos. Love nachos. Mm-hmm. So then we got we've got the thing. favorites. Oh, there you go. That's 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 your you right there, man. A Reuben? Don't you like uh, the Reuben? Nah, no. Uh, I like the Monte Cristo. Oh, no. oh, that's right. Reubens so, are but, fine, but not really my style. That uh, that's more up my wife's alley. Okay, but the uh, chicken salad that looks like it pretty it could be pretty good. Chicken salad sandwich. Yeah. Oh yeah, chicken salad sandwich. Sorry. And then uh, tavern battered fish sandwich. Ooh wee, fillet of fish. Eat this. Cheeseburger. Okay. Wrangler burger. Okay. Blue cheeseburger. Okay. We got that pub hot dog. Oh, oh, it's uh with sauerkraut, bacon, and french fries. Mm-hmm. Or you like... could go Coney Island style with Ooh. some melted cheese, chili, onions, and french fries. Can't go wrong. Mm-hmm. We got that. Continuing uh, oh. with some more favorites. I got the fish and chips here. Mm-hmm. Cottage pot pie potato skins. Okay. Oh, actually, that'd be interesting. I'd like to try those. Uh, the fettuccine carb- uh, carbonara. Yeah, and blue plate special. Ask your server about our daily feature. Okay, that could change up too. And so for desserts, oh. a carrot and walnut cake. Oh, I love carrot cake. Apple pie. I like apple pie too. My, and oh, I a brownie be a... raspberry raspberry swirl cheesecake. So I'm just gonna have to carry like a crap ton of lactate on this trip. <laughs> yeah. I, I would say that's probably a good idea. Um, a box and just throw it in my, <laughs> throw it in my bag. And, and again, keep in mind, everything at this restaurant is included and is complimentary as part of your package. I like that. Oh, James likes that. Wow, third person. Yeah. Well. Uh, that's because I'm sleepy right now. <laughs> that covers the restaurants that are included next week. Uh, either next week we're going to talk about Ketchikan Shore Excursions or we're going to go into the specialty dining. So uh, I I would suggest for those of you out there, if you have a preference on what you want to hear us talk about next week, let us know. Absolutely, because, you know, we are interested in talking about both of those things. So if we can uh, help you. You can help us help help you. That would be awesome. 